Inspirational Athlete of the Month, sponsored by Ramsey Crookle. Mike Ryan, what a pleasure it is to talk to you today on this beautiful day here in Douglas in the Isle of Man. And I've chosen to talk to you as an inspirational sports athlete um, for many reasons. I know that a lot of people in the Isle of Man have got huge admiration for you and what you've been through and um, what you are doing. First of all, just tell me a little bit about your background and how you ended up in a wheelchair, Mike. Okay, so I got injured during my uh, time in the army. And although it, it wasn't obvious just how bad things were going to be in the future I was aware that there was clearly something not right and my injury was in 1998 and we're now 20 years later so and I've had my wheelchair for about three years I think off the top of my head so it, it, it took a while to get there um, now I'm just trying to find how you get through life with a chair now and and you're coping incredibly well. I mean, I caught up with you at the NSC not that long ago where you were with a group of other like-minded individuals playing basketball, which was brilliant, obviously, to, to be able to go and be able to do that. Yeah, the, uh, the Wooden Spoon Wheelchair Club on the island is amazing. They're a really nice bunch of guys. I mean, people look through the window and they probably see us throwing the ball around and missing and what have you. But it's not that it's, it's it, i think it helps everyone that goes you know you can see like you've seen yourself it's a, a wide range of different people we've all got a common sort of um you know something in common which is our uh, disabilities that we're dealing with one way or another but it's a uh, it's a lovely group and uh, it gets me out the house gets me mixing and I, I laugh so much when i'm there it's like it's brilliant gets the endorphins going as well yeah. you've just recently been to the uk where you've been through the uh, invictus games trials just talk me through what happened what you're trying to qualify for yeah so uh first of all uh, about a week or so before we went to bath we, um a few of us went to weymouth and where we tried out for the sailing which is going to be in invictus for the first time this year um really enjoyed it terrible weather but really enjoyed it um, and then uh, we went to Bath. Uh, we had about four days in Bath, where I tried out for athletics, sitting, volleyball, wheelchair basketball, and rowing. Which, yeah, it's it, it's a fair bit to sort of try and make your body go through. Like, but it's it's brilliant when you're there. You, you, you're mixing with guys and girls that are in a similar situation and. Uh, again, just trying to get through life in the situation that you're in now, but most of it is, is laughing. So much laughing that goes on. Would you ever have thought that you'd be in the UK in the trials for the Invictus Games, you know, maybe 10 years ago? Would you have foreseen this as something that you would have been doing? I, I quite liked sport before my disabilities came along, and I would call myself fairly sporty. And my goal was to one day, like, you know, you have your dreams and aspirations, one day to have a a Union Jack on a uh, on a sports top. Obviously, I realised that was never happening. But then it, it happened last year, and it, it was amazing. Like I can remember getting my kit and thinking, I thought my days of sport were over. Let alone, you know, finally getting that Union Jack on your top. The it was, uh, games really does give something back to the individuals that think that they're never going to compete again, doesn't that? Yeah, it's you, the first wall that you hit is this. What do I do now? And you get so many questions and some of them are dark you know really dark but sports recovery is there's there's something about it I, I don't know exactly what it is it's the people you're around um the fact that you're able to sort of show yourself as i can still do this and sometimes you can do it better than the ables like you know it's when i when i get in my wheelchair i, I feel like i can put some of the able-bodied people to shame like you know it's You've got a specialised wheelchair and um, I've seen that here today that you're using as well. I mean, you've got a different one that you use at basketball, you've got a different chair that you're using now. We're here on Douglas Promenade because you're just about to take on the 5k um, prom run, but you're doing the 2k That's part right, of yeah. it, aren't you? Don't yeah. worry, I, <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, they, they haven't tried, changed it, have they? <laughs> no, and I've just tried out doing a little bit in your chair and oh, it's really hard. It's very it, challenging, Mike. Yeah, it, 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 it's tough, but it's... That, that toughness, um, I mean, we can all do something easy any day of the week. You know, we can wake up half asleep and still do something easy. It's when we do the tough things that we actually think like, OK, yeah, I've had to put effort into that. And it makes you feel alive, you Absolutely. know, it's, and 
I, you know, I, I do like that. I, I thrive off that toughness because they can never take my toughness away. You know, they can take a lot of things, but not my toughness. And you've got to be tough to do this because last time you were out here, it's pouring with rain. The weather is a bit better today. What's your target? What are you hoping to achieve today? I did 12 minutes 40 something, I think it was. Um, it's looking a bit breezy now on the way back. So uh, I don't know. It'd be, you're always trying to do better than your last race because you're always as good as your last race. So it'd be nice if I, if I can get under 12.30, I'll be happy with that. And we're looking ahead now at finding out if you've qualified for the Invictus Games. When will we know that? I've got another few weeks to go. Um, it's, I'm actually up for uh, two. I've got Invictus and I've also tried out for Warrior Games, which is in Colorado uh, in June, which would make me miss the TT, I think. But have got to weigh up your options here. Which would you prefer? Invict, Invictus uh, Sydney with, you know, and it would be amazing for the island as well, I think. You know, to, we might be a small island, but we sort of take part in pretty much every major event that goes on you know we've just had the commonwealth games and we represented there and we came away with some uh, medals Silver medal. we certainly yeah did, yeah but so you know one of the reasons why i've chosen to speak to you today is because of that reason you are inspirational to others that you can obviously achieve anything you want if you put your mind to it what i'd love to do is if there's somebody that's sitting at home and struggling with life who's got their own difficulties whether it be a wheelchair or mental physical just not knowing what to do with life that you can come and do things like this this has cost me no money you know all it's taken me is effort and time so there are things to go and do on the island and you can feel good about yourself and then inspire the next person good on you mike we wish you very very best of luck for today and also for the trials as well we hope you make it through oh fingers crossed Come on, Mike. Well done.